Hello, I'm Angela Broughton from polesandblinds.com. I'm going to show you how to make a cushion with a flap round. Um, frills used to be all the rage, but uh, they're really only suitable now for cottage decor. Whereas this just gives a little bit of an extra uh, finish to the cushion. Uh, and looks lovely on a bed. It would perhaps be a little bit large to put on a settee. Uh, so, according to the size of your pad, you cut the fabric out. This is the main piece of fabric. I'll we'll pin just a sec. So here you are with the main piece of fabric. Uh, as I say, this is for an 18 inch pad. So you can see that you have to have the extra bit, maybe a couple of inches for the flap, two and a half inches, uh, and then half an inch each side, well, all the way around for the seam allowance. Always make sure if there's any kind of pattern on your pad, on your cushion, uh, that, it, that you cut it so that it's all square because it would really notice on a pattern such as this if pattern was running out. So take your main piece and that one I've already obviously sewn down. Take the other side, fold over and over and machine down there. So take the two flaps and machine down one long side of each flap. because it's not, uh, it doesn't have to be precise, but make sure that you always pull the fabric through the machine, otherwise it's more inclined to, to pack up. So here are the two, here's the main right side of the fabric because you're going to bag the cushion out so you want to have right sides to right side pin round always pin these because they will slide around and then you'll end up with the whole thing too much material on one end or not enough on the other Now you cut the corners off to reduce the bulk in the corner when you turn the cushion through. What I usually do is just get a pin and just gently ease out the corner. With a very thick fabric like this you, you won't be able to get them completely pulled through anyway. Okay, so now you've got to iron the seam on the fold so that it all sits nicely. Folds flat. Um, this particular fabric is 
is a is a velour here, which doesn't particularly uh, enjoy having the iron, a hot iron on it, so I won't mess about with it too much. Um, so I usually come in about two and a half inches for the flap, and as this clearly has a very defined pattern. Make sure that you're pinning so that the seam will come in the same place all the way along. If this was a, a, a cotton or a lightweight fabric, to make it easier, I just fold this over and iron along, which would then give you a nice prominent fold line to sew along but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, doesn't particularly matter. So machine all the way around on the right side, following your pin line, or as I say, the, the fold line if you press it, you press the fold. Uh, and then there you are with the flap that's been created by the stitch line all the way around the edge of the cushion and then pop the pad in and it's done. So here's the cushion in situ in the show house, all finished and ready to go. Just arrange it on the bed. Nice big cushions can take the place of a headboard. These voile curtains match the bedspread and putting voile curtains into a dormer window still allows for maximum light to come in the window but quite elegant